Ah, wow, wow, wow. Hey, y'all. Hey, how's it going? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Hey, Raipuka. Hey, Zai. Hey, Cabal. Hello, everyone here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a good Friday so far today. My Friday's been good so far. Uh, mostly because... Uh, thank you for the headpat. Thank you for the headpat. Mostly because I don't have work for the next week now. I finished last day of work for the week this week, and then I have a week off work. Yay! I'm very happy. Very happy. Get to have a break from work. Head pat rubbing egg yolk into your forehead. <laughs> yeah, and the egg yolk uh, comes off on your hand a little bit too, so now you get to get to have a little egg. A little egg is a treat. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all have uh, had a good Friday so far. Uh, today's stream is probably going to be a little bit short just because um, I've been a little bit tired lately. It'll be short like yesterday. Uh, short being like an hour, hour and a half long. Probably like hour and a half or so. But um, I'm going to try and see if, if we can play through Last Window. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it tonight, but I think... We'll get through um, almost to the end, and then we'll probably finish it next time that we play it. Um, it's really, it's really building up to the final confrontation, guys. It's, it's, it's a uh, the tension is rising. I kind of forget who we were about to confront, like right before we stopped last time. But I guess we'll see when we load out the save. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah. Today, we got our our egg on our heads. Eggs on our face. Franz blue balls us by stopping right before we end. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's my goodbye gift. A little blue, blue balling. But yeah, I just don't have the energy to, to probably play through the entire ending tonight. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Also, hello, Opa. Hello. Let me see if I can do the wave. Hello. Hello. Also, I'm a little bit more movement. I can I'm moving a bit more now because I played around with the movement range for this model too. I didn't set it up all the way to what I set the uh, furbot to because it just fucking it fucking breaks this model. This model breaks so easily. Hey Earl, how's it going? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? It's a Friday. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday. Although I do, I still got stuff to do tomorrow. Mostly just um, entertaining a guest, entertaining a friend guest. I'm gonna be making that thing. Oh, thank you for the hat pat. Here, a little egg for you. I'm gonna be making a, a little dinner for a friend and we're gonna be talking and, and stuff. I'll be entertaining them at my place. Um, but it'll be fun. It'll be, hopefully be fun. I always get anxious when it comes to like social stuff, even if it's with like friends that I've, I've known for a while. All right. Well, let's get started just because today's gonna be a bit short. Let's try to get all that we can out of this game. Last window, secret of Cape West. Oh yeah, did y'all see like the announcement at the Nintendo Direct for uh, for the Trace Memory remake? Just a reminder, you're a very enjoyable company, Doodle. I'm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the head for the head pat. A little a little more egg for you. Oh yeah, we were gonna confront Dylan. Thank you for the head pat, a little egg for you too. We were gonna confront this son of a bitch. Let's see, it's cause he was like hanging out outside of Marie's room, like acting like a stalker or something. Um, uh, that, that fucking Grimace. Fucking Grimace is in this game? Uh, looks like you're busy getting ready for the big move, huh? Yeah. Packing your stuff up, were you? Guess that would explain why you're flustered. 
Were you planning on heading out somewhere later? Yeah, you know, just going out. I see. That's why I can't really give you much of my time at the moment. What was it you wanted to show me? This. Uh... Oh, oh, we're trying to confront Dylan about the threatening letter he might have sent Marie. Does it look familiar? I... In case you haven't noticed, it's a threatening letter that was sent to Marie. Oh, is that what it is? There's no more hiding, Dylan. I know exactly who you are. I... I don't know what you mean. Don't give me that bowl. Tell me who you are. Please, Mr. Hyde, don't shout at me like that. Let's start talking. We can start with what you, re you were really doing outside Marie's room. Bro got a fat neck. He do got a fat neck, though. I know what you were doing. You were... You're keeping tabs on her. What? I was just doing what I was told to do. Huh? Who told you to do what? You knew Marie before you came here. Or so you claim. That's right, I did. I used to do the plumbing in her old house. Something doesn't add up, Dylan. She says she doesn't remember you. Oh, no. I guess that was the wrong answer. Oops. Coffee can neck for a fucker? <laughs> That's one hell of a thing to call someone. I agree, though. But even if she's forgotten, I still remember. Guess she must have had bem bad memory or something. Okay, we're gonna have to redo the, the thing. You've never been to her old house. What? She told me that whenever they had problems, they used the same service. So now we've established that you haven't been there. How do you really know her? Uh, that's because... I was given some information about her. Who was giving you this information, bro? Are you working with the fucking mob? Because the mob is keeping tabs on her. Dylan, who told you to watch Marie? I can't tell you that. The red fade gets me every time. It reminds me of a horror VN. Yeah, it kind of lo it low-key scares me because I'm like, oh shit, I fucked up. Oh shit. It does a good job of like making you feel like, oh no. Not that it matters, I already know the answer. Yeah, what do you think you know? I know who told you to watch her. It was Condor. Ah, oh, fuck. No, it's Niall. I get them mixed up because they're both like the same. Fuck. We fucked up. Sorry, we gotta reset. I don't- I, I think we're gonna get a game over because we didn't get the right answer for that. Sorry, we gotta reset, y'all. Yeah, these are the same- it was a hard question, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's why I usually make save states after each question during these interrogations, but I- I fucked up and didn't. I was like, oh, we're gonna be fine. It'll just let us redo it. But no, for those questions, like, if you miss one of them, then uh, you get a game over after you ask all the questions. Because it's like, if you um, pick the right answer, it opens up a new question, but if you don't, it doesn't open up a new question, and then it's game over when you run out of questions and haven't reached the end. Okay, let me try to see... How do you fast forward again? It's, uh... Okay, I'm I'm making the text go by faster, but One second, let me... What other buttons are there? Mm. 
Mm Thank you for the food. Hey, them Turk. Where's the grandpappy and Azredeem? Oh, fuck. I disabled those during the, um... The celebration stream last Saturday because I was Frobot and Frobot don't got those toggles. Staying blind on this, so good luck. Oh, that's totally fair. I hope you have a good lurk, them Turk. And then I didn't turn it back on last stream because I was doing Frobot again. Okay, now we're back here. A reminder. <laughs> I don't really want to deal with redeems today, so I'll keep them turned off, but I'll try to remember once I come back from break. Okay, it was Niall. Niall? That's it, isn't it, Dylan? Okay, let's save here. Just so we don't, don't like, you know, fuck up. Thank you for understanding. How the hell did you manage to find out so much? You wrote that threatening letter to Marie under the orders of Niall, which means you were likely placed here to watch over the tenants and send the letters. I guess that explains why he's just so fucking po po poking in his nose into everyone's business. What can I say? My job was to stay here and watch over those women. Which women? So, so not just Marie, but another woman? What kind of information did you receive? That would be... It was information you had to relay to her, wasn't it? That's right. But do you know what kind of information it was? Sure, it was about... It was about her brother and husband working for Condor. Right again. Marie was a relative of ex-Condor operatives. She didn't know this, even though even after the both of them had died. Condor may have disappeared 13 years ago, but it left behind some women who could come in handy for Niall. Oh, that's just a disgusting way of putting that. Left some women who could come in handy? Condor proved to be a useful subject to Niall in more ways than one. So I guess Dylan was, like, with the bad guys after all. I thought he was just, like, a harmless guy who just poked his nose into different things. The woman you were supposed to watch, which woman would they be? Do you really need to ask? I thought you'd have it figured out by now. Tell me. Well, it's Marie and that Patrice woman, of course. Patrice especially. I'm sure she's still hiding something in her room. Mags is hiding something in her room? Yeah, there's no mistaking it if you watch her like I have. Hmm. He did act so sus, but I thought that he... I, I don't know. I, I kind of like crossed out his name in terms of like suspicious people because he was acting so sus that I thought like he was so obvious that I thought he couldn't be it you know like a red flag how did Niall hope to use Condor I thought that would have been obvious they used them to li liaise liaise with the LAPD liaise with the LAPD sure as you no doubt already know not a single member of Condor was taken down what do you think that was? It was because of the he corrupt He was so elf. suspicious that to suspect him seemed ironic. Yeah, yeah, he was so suspicious that to suspect him seemed ironic. It was like, huh? Yeah, after he helped us out, I thought he was all right. I thought that he was like, oh yeah, fellow snooper? Okay, I'll help you. Uh, it was because of the corrupt element in the department working on the Condor, Condor cases. That was a quick combo. Only a few questions. Well, Mr. Hyde, it looks like you finally managed to expose my true identity. It looks that way. When did you realize? I knew there was something fishy about you as soon as we started having our little chats. Haha. <laughs> you figured me out in a single week, huh? Looking back, maybe I shouldn't have spoken to you so much. If I'd taken that approach, I might have been able to... <laughs> So loud. So fucking loud. <laughs> Fart, are you farting in his face? Are you farting in Dylan's face? 
Uh, if I'd taken that approach, I might have been able to get to the end of my stay here without arousing any suspicion and just continue to be maintenance man Dylan. Still, guess there's no use crying over spilt milk. Come to think of it, maybe the timing was pretty good. Hold it right there. What do you mean the timing was pretty good? What are you planning now? I've just got one thing left to do. Let them know that Kyle Hyde is onto them and is likely to be an obstacle. Oh, yeah, if, if they let Niall know, we'll get fucking killed. I'm ejecting my accusation, guess. <laughs> this guy Dylan looks dead smack like my Uncle Jeff, actually. Oh, damn. I mean, like, they really did, you know, he does look like a lot of men out there. What did you say? What's the matter, scared of big bad Niall? You must have guessed that once you expose me, you put yourself into the line of fire. Don't tell me you've never considered it. Sure I did. But you think that's gonna put me off? I won't be intimidated by scum like you. Well, I admire your nerve. With guts like that, you're, you're wasted being a salesman. Yeah, I hear a lot of that. Looks like a lot of men is a horrible adjective. <laughs> It is. I meant that in like a ironic, sarcastic sort of way. Like he looks like a lot of men. Because anyone could look like a lot of men. He's a generic to every jerk. A generic to every jerk. <laughs> I, I've got, I've got nerve all right, enough of it to shoot an ex-partner of mine who worked for Niall. I may have quit the force, but there are certain things you can't shake off. Dylan, I don't get many opportunities to chat to criminal lowlives like you anymore. Hey, don't push it. So I'd like to use this chance to ask you something. You're going to tell them that I've blown out your cover, but what's going to happen to you? What are you trying to say? You really think they're going to keep a guy around who can't even remain in disguise? Mark my words, based on the Nile I know, this isn't going to end well. At least not for you, you'll be the first to disappear. What do you mean by that? I'm pretty sure that, once you've given them what they want, they'll figure there's no sense in keeping somebody whose covers have been exposed. And then what do you think will happen to you? You can't exactly hand yourself over to the LAPD, can you? Not after what you told me just now. If Nyla really does have a mole in the forest, and you hand yourself in, you'd be digging your own grave. Are you threatening me? Yes. He is. Not at all, just letting you know the facts. Then, when they've disposed of you, it won't be long before they take me out, too. It's not gonna be like that. I'm sure of it. Come on, Dylan, wise up. What are you gonna do? I haven't got a clue. What can I do? You've got yourself into a real fix. Come on, answer me. Maybe we can strike up some kind of deal. Here's what I'm thinking. Since my life's, my life's also in danger, perhaps if we agreed to keep recent events to ourselves, we can both make a clean break. By the time Niall realizes the lack of contact means you've gone, they'll come looking, but you would have gained yourself a couple of days head start. A couple of days? That's not going to stop them. Where the hell can I run to? Not to mention, how can I be sure you'll keep quiet about me? If you're stuck for somewhere to run, call me tomorrow night. I know a way you can escape undetected. Whether you choose to believe me or not is totally your call, though. Yeah, Dylan's Dylan's an asshole, but you know... The criminal organization is even more of a fucking horrible ass. You can't really escape them if they're everywhere. Dylan? Huh? Dylan's right arm moves. <gasps> Don't move! What you said sounds good, but I'm not so sure I'm the kind of guy who believes everything at face value. Oh, fuck. We've had guns pointed at us like several times in the past 24 hours. It's decision time, Dylan. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna have to think about all this. That stuff you said, that's something I can't decide upon lightly. After all, both our lives are in danger here. You got that right. So I figure, we've lived here under the same roof for a while now. I think we can reach some sort of agreement. Here's what I'll do. 
I'll wait until tomorrow night to give you my answer. Before then, neither I nor Niall will make any sort of move. I think we could both do with some rest tonight. Now just stand still and don't make a move until I'm out of here. You got that? Catch you later, Mr. Hyde. I like how he still calls him Mr. Hyde. Dylan gives me a sarcastic little smile as he leaves the room. Damn, he, j he had a gun on him too. Was he just hiding it the entire time? Oh, can we like... Also, it makes sense that he has the a puzzle of like the girl opening the door here, if you remember. This painting was from the previous game, but it was related to Niall. Niall was involved in like stealing the painting. Yeah, all this all this stuff is all over the fucking place. No wonder he had a coffee can neck. <laughs> he kept his gun in there. Kaba at him. <laughs> he kept his gun in his neck. That's where he hid it. That's funny. Uh, I'd better let Marie know about Dylan. Okay. And I think we're gonna talk to Mags next. Who's there? I hear Marie's voice from inside her room. It's me, Kyle. Ah, Mr. Hyde. Open the door. Okay, just a moment. Dylan was behind the threatening letter you received. What? He was also the per person keeping tabs on your whereabouts. So he is with Niall after all? Yeah, he is. The good news is that after I exposed him, he left. Really? He's gone? Yeah. Let's just say I gave the guy a little scare that sent him packing. It should be enough to keep him away until you're safely out of town anyway. Mr. Hyde. Here's your letter back. Mr. Hyde. I made up my mind. I'm going to take the chance and leave. I see. Please don't worry about me. After all, I already told you. I'm stronger than I look. Marie. You've helped me so much. After talking to you, I think I'm ready to make a run for it no matter what lies ahead. Thank you for everything. As soon as I leave here, lock the door and don't let anyone in. You got that? And when you leave tomorrow, don't tell a soul what you're doing. Four o'clock! That's the time that Mags told us to meet with her. So it's time to talk to Mags. Four o'clock. I better make my way to see Mags. I really do like this kind of like side by side, like the left side, you see like the 3D rendition of like everything. And the right side, you see like the 2D map. I love the like the ju juxtaposition that that kind of like shows. It makes me go like, wow, how did they do that? Hey Mags, it's me. I'm here to expose your secrets. <coughs> it's Kyle Hyde. Oh, Mr. Hyde. You said four o'clock, right? Care to open the door? I've got something really important that we need to talk about. I'm sorry, Mr. Hyde. I'm a little busy at the moment. Could we continue the chat from this morning another time? Are you serious? Now isn't a very good time. Please come back later. Now what? Maybe I should just head back upstairs and try again later. Fucking mags. You little bitch. Mr. Hyde. Great, now Frank wants me. I've been looking for you. I thought we were meeting later. What do you want? You were in Dylan's room earlier, am I right? 
Yeah. He looked quite agitated when he left. May I ask what happened in there? He's gone. He cut his losses and left. He left? As it turns out, he's on Niall's payroll. Once I'd managed to get that out of him, he fled. It's all slotting into place. Looks like it's true about him being the person Niall sent here then. Wait, how did you know that though? It seems my instincts haven't let me down after all. So you suspect Dylan? In a manner of speaking. Did you manage to uncover something about Dylan then? Not directly, but I noticed how defensive he was. So what put you onto him? There was something strange about him, something he just couldn't hide. Kind of like a smell that can only be picked up by seasoned detectives like me. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Guess he set off your detective instincts. Yes, you could say that. I noticed that his movements seemed deliberate, and they were done to match hers. Hers? Yes, Mrs. Patrice, of course. And when you understand what kind of woman she is, as I do... You would appreciate that Dylan's movements are rather suspicious. That was the motivation behind me wanting to investigate where he was frequenting. What kind of woman do you think Mrs. Patrice is? Of course, I had my own information about her, but after hearing yours, I deduced that Mrs. Patrice is quite clearly the wife of a villain. Her late husband, George Patrice, was a close friend of Michael McGrath, the one-time owner of Hotel Cape West. He also just happened to be the prime suspect in the murder of Kathy McGrath. He told me that you were able to have a conversation with Michael's son. I would think that he would have told you then that he had marked a certain individual as Kathy's murderer. And that individual was George Patrice. Precisely. This was the same conclusion that the first detective on the case came to. So George Patrice was the number one suspect, suspect, huh? That's what the detective in charge of the original case thought, at least. At the time of the victim's death, he was absent from the party and without an alibi. Conveniently for him, though, his wife, Margaret, provided him with an alibi later on. Do you believe he was responsible for the murder? I must admit, I do. I see. Not only that, I also firmly believe that he knew the whereabout of the missing Scarlet Star. What? And if Niall... And if Niall had been using Dylan to watch Mrs. Patrice, then there's no doubt. Let me get this straight. Earlier you said there was only one person who knew where the Scarlet Star was, and that person was the hotel manager, Michael McGrath. Why then would you say that George Patrice knew? I mean, I meant that McGrath was the only person working at the hotel who knew. But when we're talking about George Patrice, Condor's ringleader, well, I find it hard to believe he didn't know all there was to know. Wait, he was Condor's ringleader? There's something more I have to say about the Scarlet Star, though. Oh, is this- is- Dylan talked about how, like, Mags has a secret in her room. Maybe it's the Scarlet Star? Has she been, like, keeping- holding on to it? Where was Dylan frequenting? The fourth floor and the basement. Vacant rooms, too. He also tended to enter other tenants' rooms insisting he was merely do doing maintenance. I can't tell you how many times I spotted him leaving room 306, for example. It goes without saying that he would enter Mrs. Patrice's room as well. What do you think he was up to? Monitoring and information gathering. All to find clues to locate the Star Scarlet Star. He was looking for it? So Dylan knew about it too? They let some underling know about the Scarlet Star? What else do you know? I had intended to talk about that in the cafe. Come on, you've mentioned this much. I think you need to tell me everything. You're very persuasive, Mr. Hyde. This is how I see it. Michael McGrath was in possession of the Scarlet Star, but when his wife was killed off, he naturally became frightened and hid it where nobody else would be able to find it. You mean like in a building that used to be a hotel? Indeed, and I'm, pos and I'm positive that he left some sort of means to locate it again later on. He must have figured that at some point somebody would want, would try to obtain the Scarlet Star. He thought that someone would come to look for it? Yes, the same people that knew the truth behind its disappearance. But who are those people? Condor ringleader George Patrice and his wife, Margaret. Mike Porter and Peter Rivet too, naturally. 
Uh, naturally, Niall would have been aware as well. Mike and Peter are part of Marie's family. Yeah, yeah. The only ones to survive up until the present day are Mrs. Patrice and Niall. Out of all the people who knew the truth beh behind how the Scarlet Scar Star disappeared, only Mrs. Patrice and Niall are left. Yes! That's exactly what Frank said, Kyle. That's exactly what he said. Hold on. Frank, there's one more person who knew about the disappearance of the Scarlet Star. There is? You! You know exactly how it came to be missing, don't you? I... If you won't come clean now, this conversation is over. Fine. Have it your way. The reason I've been looking into the events of this building's past is... To restore a certain reputation. To restore his reputation? I don't know how well y'all are following the story so far, but at this point, I kind of just want to finish it. <laughs> I just want to finish this story. We're so close to the end. We're so close. Whose reputation needs restoring? Mine, of course. Yours. 25 years ago, I was part of the investigation into Condor, Mr. Hyde. During this investigation, I learned something about Hotel Cape West. I found out that this was where Condor conducted their fencing of stolen jewelry. Soon after that, an internal investigation took place and I was removed from the case. I believe I was the victim of a conspiracy per perpetrated by a certain person. At this point, it's just like we need to finish. Yeah, I'm just like, please, I just want to talk to Mags. I want that to be the end of the game and I want this to be over. <laughs> what kind of conspiracy? It was a plot to remove the person poised to unveil the truth about Condor. Not only did he ruin my good name, but he also d deepened his allegiance with Niall. Okay, who orchestrated the conspiracy? Are you talking about... Who the fuck is Hugh Speck again? Hugh Speck? Are you talking about the mayoral candidate Hugh Speck? Oh, so that guy that, you know, they kind of like mentioned a few times earlier on in the story, he becomes kind of like a key player. He, he's he's in cahoots with the with Niall. I think. I mean, like, that just goes to show political corruption. I am. He rants incessantly about crushing crime, which got him into the world of politics. But the truth is, it's all a front. He doesn't mean a word of it. I'll tell you now, my ultimate aim is to bring him and his corruption down. If I can do that, I have no doubt my reputation will be restored. Mr. Hyde, listen to me. I must sound like some doddering old fool. I was once just a plain and simple detective who wanted for nothing. When I was younger, I was bad-tempered and eager to prove myself. Even though I didn't conform with the norm, I did my job and fought for justice. Then that man and his damned internal investigations stripped me of everything, and all of a sudden I was just a cog in the machine working behind a desk. But there was one thing they couldn't take away from me, and that was my pride. I quit my job and vowed to uncover the truth behind what happened. Let me get this straight, your reason for searching for dirt on Hugh Speck is to try and expose the link between Niall and the LAPD? Exactly. I'm positive, Mr. Hyde, that the Scarlet Star lays hidden somewhere in this building. If I can only find it, I know it will prove to be an invaluable piece of evidence. Michael McGrath definitely left some sort of clue behind before he died. Something that will enable me to finish what I've been trying to do all these years. So you've been trying to find some sort of clue up on the fourth floor? Yes, but all my efforts appear to have been in vain. I found not a thing. There's always a chance that somebody got, it, got to it before me and moved it, though. Moved it? That reminds me, didn't Dylan say something? I'm sure she's still hiding something in her room. Mr. Hyde? Yeah? What are you thinking about? Would I be wrong if I suspected you of knowing something? <laughs> he does know a lot of things. Perhaps something about the place of Michael McGrath- Place Michael McGrath hid that clue? Dream on. If I knew something about that, you'd think I'd still be gassing to you? Then forgive me. It's just that the look you had on your face made me think so. I mean, he kind of knows. I dropped my, my wrist cushion. You must tell me if you know something. Steady on, Granddad. That tone will get you nowhere. I told you, I don't know anything. You're lying, I know it. Oh no, it's detective versus detective. Look, when I say I don't know, it means I don't know. 
You can't trick me, Mr. Hyde. You know something, and there's no denying it. Now tell me what it is. Hey, keep bawling like that, and you'll draw a crowd. Is that what you want? Why are you so agitated all of a sudden, anyway? I'm not agitated at all. I just needed to be sure you weren't attempting to hide anything from me. Trying to force it out of me, huh? Well, Mr. Hyde, since we appear to have exhausted this line of conversation, I see no need to meet in the cafe after all. I assume you agree? Well then, I'll be going. Frank moves away and heads back up the stairs. Oh. Gotta give it to the old guy. He sure wants to find that hiding place. Guess he won't give up until he's found Michael McGrath's secret. Yeah, Kyle's not one to spill secrets, especially if someone's yelling at him to do it. Someone else is coming down the stairs? Bro! Bro! <laughs> what now? I thought we said all we needed to s say to each other. I wanted to apologize for how I acted just now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. I didn't intend to make you angry. It's just like you said. I'm looking for some kind of evidence on Hugh Speck, and that's why I need to find what Michael McGrath left behind. I was curious to see what we could turn up if we put our minds together. Do you have any idea where it might be hidden? Yeah, I'm sure it's in one of two places. Either the fourth floor in the place I haven't checked, or inside Mrs. Patrice's room. In Mags's room? Yes, there's a very high likelihood that something's hidden in there. I was hoping you might have already discovered something on one of your visits there. Yeah, Kyle's like, do you have an appointment? It's like, why the fuck are you talking to me again? But since it appears you haven't, come on, spit it out. What do you want to say? If you got something you want to say, I'd rather you just said it. Very well, I will. I, I sound kind of annoyed here because I'm like, oh my god, get this conversation over with already. Fucking hell. Would you be willing to team up with me so we can search Mrs. Patrice's room? Seriously? You're the only one who I can talk to candidly regarding this. Let's say I agree. How are you proposing we go about searching her place? My plan is to ask her to meet me in the cafe where I'll keep her talking for an hour or so, during which time you can take a thorough look around her room. In the small matter of a key? Don't you worry about that. I'll see that she leaves the door unlocked. You can leave that side of the operation to me. Does Max know you've been looking into Condor? I doubt it, Mr. Hyde. As far as I can tell, she suspects nothing. I'm sure you're just as eager to have a closer look around her room as I am, Mr. Hyde. Am I right? You might be. Then it's settled. I'll go and ask her to join me in the cafe. As soon as she's left her room and come with me to the cafe, you should go inside. What you're looking for is... Yeah, I know. You want me to find something left behind by Michael McGrath. Precisely. Once you're done with your search, come to the cafe. We can discuss what you find after you arrive. Yeah, got it, loud and clear. Then we'll regroup there. Frank nods and heads towards Max's room. Okay, so this whole searching of Max's room reminds me of like the end game, end game of Hotel Dusk where we like search the basement, like the hidden room in the basement. Let's save before this big operation. I wanted to play this game like before I I went on break, but I don't know how long this is gonna be. I can hear voices. Yes, I understand. Then let's go to the cafe. The sound of footsteps and the two voices trail off towards the cafe. I don't know how he did it, but the door's unlocked. Secret mission, rifle through Max's room for clues is now in effect. She never lets us in here, so let's try looking in there. That's a big bed, that looks comfy. Her bedroom. I'd better search here too. Okay, 
So this doesn't have anything to do with it. Let's search her bed. It must be in a sort of hidden place because Dylan couldn't find it before. <laughs> Definitely worth investigating the washcloths. Right, that chest of drawers and stuff. Imagine just like hiding it under under your pillow. Like some kind of like tooth fairy thing. Oh, what's this? The beginning reads, We know everything. Leave this apartment and its secrets immediately. Niall doesn't forget and still bears a grudge against the wife of George Patrice. This is part of a threatening letter. That reminds me, Mag said something, said something when she received that package. I have my reasons for jumping to such conclusions, especially with a threat like this. I thought it was somebody's idea of a joke at first and tore it up. But when I saw the lack of sender on that package just now, the contents of this letter came back to me in the flash. Hmm. It's the missing piece of the letter she showed us before. So I guess she never cleaned it up. Is there a drawer in here? Yeah, wooden desk with a drawer. I guess we're not gonna search it. Something inside. All the makeup and stuff like that. Here. Okay, empty makeup box. Okay, nothing else of interest. Oh, what's in the closet? The bag looks like it's seen a few wars. It looks fine. Something covered in a white cloth. Oh? An ornamental wooden box. I wonder what's inside this thing. Oh, we're doing a puzzle? Music box. Wait, there's something stuck in the drum. Looks like a key? What's a key doing in there? Okay, let's do a save state. Just in case we fuck it up. Um. So we're stopping it. It's supposed to be right there. Hmm. So I'm closing the- I'm, I'm emulating closing the lid of the DS. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do once you close it. Music stopped.
Let's try again. Thank you for the head pat. The game is just like, okay, here's here's an impossible puzzle again. Thank you guys for being patient with me while I try to finish this game. I know that's probably really boring for y'all at this point. <laughs> but I just really want to finish it. I don't want to I don't want to stop at, until the end. I don't, I don't want to stop right at the end. Like, so I've closed the lid. What? We're, I think we haven't started yet. Huh? We haven't started yet if you want to join us. I'm still streaming. They're watching a movie downstairs and Draken was uh, inviting me to watch. We enjoy being here even if the game is being a stubborn son of a bitch. That's good. I'm glad. I'm just gonna look up how to do this. Um, you know, hold down the R button, then close the DS slightly. Hold R and then the white slit. Mm. When you open it, quickly grab the key. Okay, what did I... Oh, I see. Oh, because this the, the top of it is supposed to be connected to your R button. I see. It's a pretty song, though. Oh, it stopped again. Why do you say no? Gotta wait for it to turn around. I could fast forward, but my fingers are already sprawling across my keyboard. Ah, <sighs> thank goodness. So we have to like lift it up and then have it stop and then take it out. That was the key for. It has a condor mark on it. Ooh, suspicious. Da -da 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 -da. He looks so happy. His happiness uh, energizes me. Wait, what if... Does, does the key open up the drawer here? Because I think... I mean, he didn't mention that the drawer on this desk was... Yeah. It's a wooden desk with a drawer. Uh, let's try putting it here. Thank you for the wellness pack. One second, let me put it here. Okay, so I guess the, the key is needs to be used somewhere else. All right, sit up straight, stretch. Ooh, drink some water. this oh okay oh the other door was her bathroom okay gotta search around here maybe there's something that's locked all right let's 
here. It's, it's the package address, addressed to her. Addressed, addressed to her. Yeah, I'm not sure if she would hide anything suspicious here. It's not really something you keep in the guest room. Maybe in the bathroom? Maybe she hid it in the toilet? <laughs> Maybe she hid it in the toilet. Uh, her drawer's here. <laughs> this is nothing like the room she re rents out. I'm almost insulted. Oh yeah, of course the landlord is gonna let themselves have a much better room than the tenants. Nothing in here. Well, despite what Frank seems to think, I can't find anything from Michael here. All I've got to show for my search is part of a letter and a key from with a condor mark. Maybe the key will lead to some sort of clue. Almost time to meet him. I better make tracks before Max comes back. Oh, okay, is that all? Is that all that we can find? I sure hope that we didn't get a bad end for like not finding anything. to go back. Damn, nearly forgot. Frank's still waiting in the cafe. Oh, okay. We did say that we would meet him there. Oh, she's coming out. Damn, if she saw me coming out of her room, my ass would have been grass. <laughs> Mr. Hyde, I apologize for it before. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Maybe we can chat again sometime later? As long as that's okay with you. No problem. Okay, good. Now I must be going. She goes back inside her room. Well, I also like left her, her box like uncovered. Like her the box with the music box was covered in a cloth. Now it's not. Ah, Mr. Hyde. How'd it go? I managed to have a pretty good look around while you kept her busy. Problem is, I didn't find anything left behind by Michael in there. I see. It wasn't a total waste of time, though. I found this. You uncovered her box? Oh god, how could you? <laughs> yeah, her, her little music box. What have you got? It's a key with a condor mark on it. A key? With a condor mark? Give it to your Mr. Hyde. And you should avoid trying to go any further in this investigation. What? Not this again. Why should I stop? And who gave you the right to order me around? I beg your pardon? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've got plenty of things I still want to investigate. I have a feeling that key's gonna open more than simply a door. If I'm lucky, I might even reveal some of the secrets around here. Are you trying to say you intend to return to the fourth floor to search? Damn right. Then I'll tell you again. Stop your investigation. There's no need to waste your time up there. I've searched it thoroughly enough. Just because you haven't managed to find anything doesn't mean I won't. I've got a feeling I'm gonna get lucky up there. Now you listen to me. Oh, what the hell? It's no use talking to you. Do whatever you like. I'll be on my way. Hold it, Frank. What is it? What did you and Max talk about here? It was nothing important. We just took the opportunity to do a spot of complaining. Did Dylan come up during the conversation conversation at all? It seems she was already aware of him leaving, but she's got no idea that he's with Niall. I see. Anyway, I must be going. Frank gets all hot under the collar whenever the subject of the fourth floor comes up. Oh? Who dat? Hey, Tony, my pal, my bro! Tony! Yo! Didn't think you and old man Raver would be the sort of sit down together for drinks. Yeah, well, we had things to discuss. Hey, you're not trying to keep secrets from me now, are you? And why would I do that? No reason, I guess. Well, to keep you safe and to keep you out of the eye of a fucking crime ring? Anyway, I need to tell you something, Hyde. Tell me what? It's about Betty. 
Don't know how to explain it, but it seems I've been given a second chance. You don't say. She told me that she thinks I've changed. For the better, too. And she wants to stick with me from now on. So, sounds like you're on a winner there. Good job. What I'm trying to say is that I owe it all to you, man. To me? What the hell did I do? If you hadn't been around, I would have been stuck drowning my sorrows, going nowhere. And then how would I have gotten with Betty? I owe you one, man. Seriously. Tony, I... Before you say anything, I want to find a way to show you my gratitude. Anything you want, consider it done. Just say the word. Easy, Tony. You don't want to start making promises you can't keep now, do you? Give me a chance here, man. We don't have much time left in this old place, you know? I really don't want to leave without paying, having the chance to pay you back. If you think of some way I can help out, just give me a shout. Okay, okay. I'll think about it. Say, Tony, do you want to have sex with me? <laughs> just kidding. Say, Tony, are you still sure I have cash? I had a feeling you'd ask that. Do you really need me to answer? There's no way I'm going to turn from rags to riches overnight, you know? What if I told you I knew a way to make big bucks in next to no time? I'd say you'd better tell me what you have in mind. So you're interested? Just tell me what the deal is first. You gotta promise me you're not gonna spread this around, though. Wait, what the fuck are you gonna tell him, Hyde? The truth is, there's a precious jewel hidden somewhere on the fourth floor. A jewel? On the fourth floor? You're talking about this place, right? Hmm. I sure am. It's known as the Scarlet Star, and it went missing 25 years ago. I only heard about it by chance. But what I heard seems to, seems to suggest it's hidden right here in this apartment building. Say no more, man. Say say no more, man. I'm in. I don't know what this fucking inf intonation is I'm reading with. Hey, Cries, how's it going? Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Let me guess. The plan is to get to the thing before we have to clear out, right? Got in one, Tony. Far out. I think it's fair to warn you, though. This could get a little dangerous. So tell me, are you still down with it? Down like a clown, man. You think I pass up the chance to get in on action like this? Just tell me what you need doing. Say the word, and I'll get started. Great. So what are we going to do first? That's a good question. I guess a good starting point would, point would be to meet up by the fourth floor fire door. Got it. By the fire door on the fourth floor. We better be careful not to go there together. If we're spotted, you think people will guess we're up to something? Yeah, the people around here get jumpy real quick. Understood. I'll get going then. See you up there, Hyde. Sure, I'll be up later. 10-4. Oh my god, we're gonna just fucking go treasure hunting with Tony. End game with, Cho with Tony. Gonna get a haircut tomorrow? Oh nice, you gonna cut it short? Sex on the fourth floor. <laughs> Uh, Tony leaves the cafe. Is Sydney still here? Uh, Sydney with Claire. Okay, bye bye. Uh, it's already short. I'm just getting a trim. Uh, I feel that. I need to get my hair uh, cut as well. I got it buzzed uh, like uh, two months ago, and it's growing back out long. So I, I want to get it buzzed again. There he is. Tony is in all his glory. Okay, I think... So, this is a lot shorter than I thought it was, but I think I'm going to stop last window here, and let's play some, like, Picross or something. For, like, maybe 30 more minutes. Because I don't feel like... I feel like this is going to take us down another thing. We're going to, like, search the fourth floor, and then we're going to have a confrontation with Mags and everything. So let's let's stop it here, and we can we can look forward to to going treasure hunting with, with hunting with Tony in a in a bit after break. But um, let's play a little bit of Picross for like the short the the remainder of the stream. So let me get that started. I have my switch right here. I was playing Rune Factory Three Special. So I need to exit out of that. Yeah, one 
one second. Let me move it here. And get capture card here. I guess y'all can see this. All right, got it connected, I think. Capture card. Game capture. One second. I need to do I need to change the source. Oh, it's cuz I unplugged the capture card. One second. There it is. Yeah, okay, let me change the category as well. All right, let me get it on the other screen here. What? Starting up shortly. I played a bit, a bit more Picross uh, after stream last night. It was fun. It had been a, a, like a hot second since I played Picross before. Look at her. Look at Miku. She's so cute. I love you, my daughter. Okay, let's let's work on these. So these are like you make you like complete a bunch of them to make a big picture. Oh, Miku, yeah. Do a little bit of cross here. But yeah. After stream, I'm probably gonna like chill out and um watch some anime or something. Cause I've been keeping up with like uh, some seasonal anime. I know it's it's kind of hard to keep up with seasonal anime, especially since it's like so many come out at once, and it's hard to like choose what you want to watch, what you want to decide on for uh, to watch. I've been keeping up with like a handful. I've been watching this one called like um, Undead Girl Murder Farce. That's one of them. The name is a doozy. <laughs> um, but it's actually the best one that I've played, that I've watched uh, this season. This season has been kind of a uh, not so great, not not the best. Like you know that feeling when it just it's just like nothing good is on. Also, I totally didn't fall asleep at the start of stream and just wake up. I feel that. Sometimes the, the nap... Sometimes you just feel like napping. Sometimes the slep is too much to hold back. And when it's like that, it's probably just better to slep. It's probably just better to sleep because... You probably really need to sleep anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you had good dreams. So one, two. Also, it's a lot. I find that I really enjoy playing Picross on the stream because I get to play it on my on my big computer monitor. Uh, I usually don't use like I usually don't hook up my switch to a monitor or a TV when I play on it. So I'm just playing Picross and um, it's very tiny. It's very tiny on my screen and I'm just kind of like squinting and I'm like, oh, oh, old man eyes. I 
I tried playing this game handheld and my eyes were like, nope. Yeah, especially for like, so it's okay for a 10 by 10. But as soon as you get to like 15 by 15 like this or 20 by 20, you're like squinting. You're like, huh? Where the fuck am I? That's why it's much better to like play on a screen, but I don't... I'm very much a handheld console person. I, I don't really... I don't prefer to hook my games up to TVs. And for some reason, like, maybe it's just because I, I look at my phone all the time. Um, but when I play on a TV, that's kind of like farther away from me than like, say, my computer monitors are. Um, my eyes feel strained after a while, like much quicker than if I'm playing uh, handheld. One, two, okay, there's a six here. I got some drink mix and it's supposed to be lime, but it's so salty, why? Oh, a salt, oh, a drink mix? Is it supposed to be like an electrolyte thing? Does it say that like it's hydrating or it's like restores electrolytes or something? Because electrolyte drinks are really salty. Because electrolytes are, are basically salt. Not not like sodium, but like salt helps in the process of hydration. I I found recently. Yeah, nothing hydrates quite like salt. Yeah, surprisingly, like, salt actually is essential to hydrate yourself. Like, you need to have salt in, in your diet. And I didn't know that. I learned that while dealing with a hangover. <laughs> that the reason why, like, the reason why, like, Pedialyte and, and stuff like that, people use it as, like, a hangover cure is because it's full of salt and it like restores electrolytes back to your body so that you can get hydrated again. So I was like, huh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I was not ready for salt. Yeah, when something is lime flavored, you're like, you're, you're not expecting it to be salty. <laughs> Yeah, hangovers, either you lay there and suffer or come across a weird hangover cure eventually. Yeah, I, so I've kind of like found a way to deal with hangovers. Well, one, you just sleep in until you get over it, but also drink lots of water and um, eat something, <laughs> eat something high in like carbs and like fats and stuff. Um, and also something like Pedialyte. So like I use this thing called IV, liquid IV or something. It's like, it's basically Pedialyte um, marketed towards adults. <laughs> People use it a lot for like hangovers because it's like you mix it with water and it's supposed to like, you know, restore electrolytes and shit like that. So it cures like the dehydration part of hangovers. But you know, sometimes when you're just so hungover, nothing helps, and then yeah, you just sit there and suffer. There's nothing you can do. I'm just kind of going around and trying to see where I can put stuff. So there's some- we can put this here. Yeah! Look at us! Doing cool stuff. Yeah! No mistakes! Let's go bait- what the fuck was that? I was scratching my eyebrow. Gamer, yeah. Big gamer. <laughs> 
<laughs> Big gamer moves there. I wonder what this picture is going to end up being. I know it's going to be Kaido. No! 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 Reset. <laughs> Uh, did you get the Miku Jigsaw Puzzle game on Switch? Nah, I didn't. I was tempted because I love Miku. But I'm just, uh, not enough at the Jigsaw Puzzles. I don't- I don't play them enough. And it didn't look engaging enough to me. Did you get- did you get it? Is it good? Uh, I never used to, but now I really like them. Yeah, maybe... Maybe I'll get into Jigsaw Puzzles eventually. Um, I know that my sister was really into them for a time. But, um... Virtual jigsaw puzzles. I mean, I, I really like physical ones, but especially if you want to get real complicated with it, they take up a lot of space. The really big, you know, thousand piece puzzles and stuff. And it's so easy to just lose a piece. So that's why, like, if I do do, do do, if I do do a jigsaw puzzle, I'll do it virtually just because it's, you know, less, less space taken up, less chance of like losing things. But, um, Physical ones are more fun, though. <laughs> I, I do do the voodoo. <laughs> I do do. I really like diamond painting. I think I've heard of that. Um... Yeah! Like you put the diamonds in the frame, right? It's kind of like Picross, but like real life. And it's like, it's like paint by numbers, right? But you put the things into, into the little squares, into the, their places. Those seem very satisfying. Um, also, I know that Legos has been doing this whole thing that's kind of like model building, but um, with Legos, <laughs> like you build this thing, like you build a bouquet or, or a car or something made out of Legos. They're really expensive though. Uh, virtual ones are nice for that. Also, if I like it, um, easy mode, you just put pieces together and see if it works or not. The real life equivalent will be just mashing pieces together. Yeah, yeah. And like sometimes they like bend and break and stuff. I have an Eeveelution one I did on my wall. Ooh, that sounds nice. Would you be able to send a pic? All the Eevees together in a diamond painting. Thank you. All right, what else is here? Nothing from here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's pixelated, so it's meant to be looked at from far away. It's kind of like pixel art, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like... I mean, like, what is what are lines but a bunch of points um, put side by side, right? So I guess it's kind of like, you know, simplification that um, really comes into play when you look at things far away. Hmm, okay, so this is blocked off.
Oh no, I can't do that. I'm just remembering uh, last night when we did Me Koopa Cross. I remember we sp we like spent around 30 minutes on Wimpa Cross. I think it was just because we st we were talking about like poop or something. Mood, big mood, poop. Poop cross. <laughs> oh no, that sounds gross. <laughs> Pick cross, but it's poop. I put it into art. Thank you. I'll take a look at it later. I'm really into this pick cross right now. I must finish it. I can take a look at it right now. I have Discord open on my on my computer. I, I don't usually keep Discord open on my computer just because I don't know. Um I have this thing where like I get notified on my phone, but if I'm like on my computer doing stuff, I don't get notifications because it's like um Discord only notifies me of of messages when I'm not active on any other platforms. Maybe I should change that if I want to get notifications. Cause I'm like, oh, if I have Discord open on my computer and I'm doing stuff on my computer, it won't notify me of things and I'll just miss messages. That's kind of why I don't stay on. And also like, I'm not at my computer a lot of the time, even if I have it all, like open. Ooh, that's really cool. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a very cool diamond diamond painting. Yeah, that's what it's called, diamond painting. I, I really like the the pixelated look too. D can definitely see the appeal, especially as uh, as someone who's grown up with like computer generated art, not generated but computer art. Um, very much to my taste. doing it the repetitive motion is soothing for me yeah I, I feel that it's kind of like how how um just like sudoku puzzle like sudoku and in, in picross and stuff are soothing for me as well like there's always a solution well except maybe sudoku can be quite uh, <laughs> uh frustrating at times but there's like always a solution and with picross it you can just fill in the, the the empty spaces however you want
Yeah, get that filled in. It's just hanging open. It's like I'm doing puzzle now. Full concentrate. Oh, we're almost done. One more. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the cheer. Ribuka cheer. Cheer. Do one or two more puzzles. Let's go. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I got a text. Oh, my mom's my mom's on her way. Uh, my uh, nephew's birthday is today, and they my family went out to to get Korean barbecue uh, to celebrate. But I said I was streaming, so I was like, oh, maybe you can get. Uh, well, my mom said, uh, oh, maybe we can get you something. Um, from the place, from the Korean barbecue place. And I asked for uh, a little takeaway box of bulgogi with vegetables and rice. Mm, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. I'm not gonna eat it tonight because I already ate dinner, but it'll be nice. Happy birthday, Tiny Frog Nephew! Yeah, I don't even remember how old is he. I think he was born like 2016. So. He's like seven. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's so old. He's not old old, but you know, like he's grown up so fast. I get that. My niece started school two weeks ago, and in my mind, she's still a baby. Yeah, did she start um, kindergarten or, or K-12? Or, sorry, preschool or kindergarten? Because my uh, nephews... So the oldest one, the one that has the birthday today, he started kindergarten, like, two years ago, a year or two ago. But my, my youngest nephew, I have two of them, he started kindergarten this year, this fall. Um... So yeah, damn, they're in K-12 now. They're in the system. <laughs> uh, primary school here, so I think that's kindergarten and she's four. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, this is kind of like reverse. This is one, two, five. This is five, two, one. Damn, they really do just grow up so fast. At least I'm not gonna have any kids for myself to experience that as directly, but... But I'll experience that with my, uh... My nephews and my cousins and my... Um, yeah, those people. My nephews and nieces, or potential nieces, I don't have any nieces at the moment. Oh, um, my controller disconnected for a second.
like, um... I have, like, second cousins at this point. It's kind of hard to keep track of, uh, what to call these relatives because, uh, it's basically my cousin's daughters. So I guess second cousin. And they're like... The oldest is like eight or nine. This rolling. Okay, this has to fit in this way. Yeah, okay. the sound of um the cursor kind of moving around like These SNK game cursors for a bunch of games are my favorite cursor sounds, but that's entirely nostalgia. Wait, what's uh, SNK? I also really love uh, how <laughs> um, the early 2000s and stuff, customizing your cursor used to be like really popular, right? I used to love like customizing my cursor and seeing it glitter and like leave uh, an after shadow and stuff while I moved it around. It was... you couldn't see shit. You, you could barely see your cursor sometimes, but like... Um, it was very pretty. I liked it. Uh, King of Fighters, Fatal Fury, Metal Slug. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't think I, I played those a lot. Mostly just cause, um... I, get, I was like a little, little kid. In the early 2000s. I was born in, like, the late 90s. And then I never really got into those games, even after. But nostalgia... hits like a brick. When you- when you come across something that you have, like, deep memories with from when you were a kid. Finding something that, like, you hadn't thought about in, like, decades. Experiencing it again, unlocking those memories. That's, like, the best feeling.
Yeah, we got it. No mistakes either. I think there's... So, um, this one I made a mistake on. So I'll need to go back and do that. Because you see that part over there that says uh, mission accomplished, right? I want to get that perfect. Because <laughs> I got it perfect over here. I got 75 out of 75. So I want to... I want to... I'm, a, I'm kind of a completionist when it comes to things like this. Yeah! Okay, I, I think I'll end it there though. Today's a short stream because... You know how I said that I was looking forward to doing nothing next week? That that includes streaming. I do like streaming. I, I really do. It, but it, I have not had like a break where I've just done nothing for an extended period of time since... I don't remember. Maybe January or February or something. So it's been a it's been a hot minute. I I I'm looking forward to not doing work and, and not having to worry about you know socializing that much or anything. Thank you for the head pat. I appreciate it, Raibuka. All right, like yesterday, I'm not gonna raid since this is supposed to be like you know low stress and everything. Um, thank you all again for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. I'll be back in two weeks. Um, I'm taking next week off of stream. Um, and I'll see how I feel after that. Hopefully I can come back the week after that. But I will not make the same mistake I did last time and come back despite not actually being rested. <laughs> but um, I'll let y'all know. I'll keep you guys up updated and everything. Yeah, it's good to take time to yourself every now and then. Yeah, yeah, especially for like people with so low social battery like me and... I don't know. I'm just prone to being burnt out a lot faster than some people I've noticed. Thank you for streaming. Thank you all for being here. I hope you have a nice break. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you too, Cabal. Alright. I'll see y'all on the flip side. I hope y'all have a great rest of your Friday night. And I'll see y'all later. Have a great Friday night. Bye-bye!